The Kremlin is spotlighting its most recent enhancement to the Tu-160 blackjack, known as the world's largest bomber. Even Vladimir Putin has joined in on the promotion, making headlines as he took a seat in the bomber's cockpit. Yet, aviation experts across the globe remain skeptical, largely due to undisclosed upgrades that the Tu-160 has reportedly received. As a heavy strategic bomber with supersonic speeds and variable geometry wings, the Tu-160M is built to deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads with remarkable range and accuracy, hitting targets as far as 10,000 kilometers away. This extensive reach is crucial for Russia, given its ongoing geopolitical tensions and military goals. What makes the Tu-160M particularly noteworthy is its modernization compared to earlier versions. The aircraft features advanced avionics, upgraded mission systems, and new engines, collectively enhancing its overall performance and operational capabilities. The updated NK-3202 turbofan engines not only boost fuel efficiency but also extend the bomber's range, allowing it to undertake complex missions with less need for aerial refueling. As noted by UAC General Director Yuri Slyasar, working on this program required not only upgrading the production facilities but also creating a completely new digital environment. Experts emphasize that the 2160M's capabilities symbolize Russia's commitment to maintaining a strong deterrent force. According to analyst Tom Demerly, the blackjack is a crucial component of Russia's nuclear triad demonstrating the ability to deliver a significant response to any perceived threats. The aircraft's operational flexibility allows it to engage in both nuclear deterrent missions and conventional warfare scenarios, making it a versatile asset in Russia's arsenal. Moreover, the strategic implications of the Tu-160M extend beyond mere military capabilities. Its development showcases Russia's technological prowess and asserts its role as a global power. These modernization efforts highlight Russia's intention to sustain its influence and address NATO's expanding presence, a point of contention in recent years. Even though Russia is making flashy upgrades to the Tu-160 Blackjack bomber, American experts remain doubtful about the aircraft's actual performance. The bomber's design, which boasts impressive speed and range, faces limitations. It mainly operates at subsonic speeds for most missions, only hitting high speeds momentarily. Defense analyst Andrei Gorbachevsky mentions, any strategic bomber flies the vast majority of the route at subsonic speed. Flight at maximum speed can only be used for a single separation from pursuing enemy fighters. Essentially, this means shorter high-speed bursts might make the bomber more vulnerable to advanced detection and interception by modern fighter jets and radars. Western analysts also question the touted combat capabilities of the upgraded Tu-160M2. Russian officials claim the bomber's combat prowess will be 2.5 times that of its predecessor. However, there are doubts. Enhancements in electronic warfare systems and avionics might not necessarily improve its survivability against sophisticated air defense networks. Gorbachevsky explains, the density of NATO radars and fighters is so high that the Tu-160 can penetrate only under the cover of a large number of its own fighters. This need for extensive support imposes significant operational limitations on the Tu-160M2 affecting its real-world effectiveness. Moreover, while the upgraded Tu-160 can launch hypersonic missiles, their effectiveness is debated. Analysts question whether the aircraft can bypass advanced air defenses to deliver its payload without significant losses.
One analysis points out, only a minority of these missiles will reach their target. Hence, nuclear strikes using cruise missiles face heavy losses en route to the target. Although the Tu-160M2 signifies a major upgrade for Russia's strategic bomber fleet, modern air defenses raise doubts about its effectiveness. Western experts are skeptical, suggesting that the bomber's upgrades might not meet Moscow's expectations, highlighting its potential challenges in a conflict scenario. The ongoing conflict has further strained these efforts, redirecting financial and technological resources towards immediate military needs. Russia has also faced significant hurdles in sourcing high-technology components from international suppliers, complicating efforts to maintain production momentum. Despite these challenges, Russia is committed to enhancing its strategic bomber fleet. The 2160M's advanced capabilities, including upgraded avionics and weaponry, position it as a critical asset in Russia's military arsenal. The Tu-160M features a completely revamped mission system and avionics, which includes a new radar, digital cockpit displays, a flight control system, navigation equipment, and a communication suite. Additionally, it has an updated self-protection suite. One of the major challenges in resuming production of this aircraft was the need for new engines. The original Kuznetsov NK-32 turbofan, known as the most powerful combat aircraft engine globally, had been out of production for some time. The modernized and supposedly more efficient NK-3202 engine was specifically developed for the Tu-160M and started flight testing in November 2020.